Hi guys, today we're going to learn about the absolute value. The definition of absolute value is the absolute value of x equal to positive x if x is greater or equal to zero. And the absolute value of x equal to minus x if x less than zero. And also we know that the absolute value of any non-zero number, it has to be positive. Example to explain that. So, the absolute value of 3, plus 3 is positive, so it's going to be, it's going to stay the same, so, which is 3. And then the absolute value of minus 3, because minus 3 is negative, so we write minus, minus 3, and that's equal to 3. So, but we usually skip this step and we write only minus, uh, the absolute value of minus 3 is equal to 3 directly. Another example is absolute value of minus 3 minus absolute value of minus 2. So to solve that, we're going to start with solving the absolute value. Because we have minus 3, so and it's negative, so we're going to change it to 3. And we're going to keep the minus because outside of the absolute value. And then we're going to change the minus 2 because it's negative. And that's give us 1. Another example, minus 3. And the absolute value minus 3 plus absolute value of minus 2. Minus 3, because it's negative, we're going to change it. And then we're going to keep the plus. And then, because we have an absolute value of minus 2, which is negative, we're going to change it to 2. And that's equal to 5. Now we're going to move on to an exercise. Uh, calculate the value of the following expression. To solve this uh, absolute value, uh, absolute value, we're going to start with the inside value first. So we're going to keep the outsider. And then we're going to start with the absolute value. 2 minus 5, which is minus 3, which is minus 3, plus 6, minus 14. We're going to keep the outside value. And then we know the, the absolute value of minus 3 because it's negative. So we're going to write the opposite, which is 3 plus 6 minus 14. We're going to keep the absolute value, and then we're going to calculate the, the inside. 3 plus 6 is 9 minus 14 minus 5. And we know uh, minus 5 is negative, so we're going to change it to the opposite, which is 5. And now we're going to move on to another example. Uh, 3, absolute value of 7 minus 5, minus absolute value of 3 minus 7, square. So to solve that, we're going to start with the absolute value first. So we're going to write 3, 7 minus 5, which is 2, minus square and set uh, 3 minus 7 which is minus 4 now I'm gonna keep 3 and we know the absolute value of 2 is going to be 2 and the absolute value of minus 4 is gonna be 4 and we're gonna keep the square 3 multiplied by 2 6 minus 4 square is 16 6 minus 16, which is minus 10. 